square foot gardening beds here. I worked with the foods teachers in our district to help them uh, add whole foods into the curriculum and now the students are gardening and able to come out, plant, harvest, take into the classroom. We use the uh, vegetables, the fruit and the flowers that are growing here in the square foot garden for the, the middle school students to come out and paint first outside Impressionist style and then they wrote poems about the plants. our paints and in our foods that we eat we want to go back to the plant back to plant sources so I had some food coloring at home that are made with um, anybody remember um, uh, beets. oh beet. to turmeric turmeric red cabbage beets and then we have some paints here that I made at home using vegetables so we have beets we have greens and we have turmeric and little canvas yeah, so, there. so there's my little Isn't that great? <laughs> You do what you want to do for it. Okay. And Ed Line, don't scrub those brushes. Oh. So that is right here. What do you think about this? What about red, guys? Where's red coming from? Home design or set design or fabric or who knows? But you could even take it to your cake. We've been the only art teachers. A couple of you are finishing up. Very, very delicate. Certainly look alive, don't they? I mean, they're so bright. Each one is original. Reaching. This one is a little, just the shape of it is, is really uh, very different, right? So the leaves hanging like dripping. Dripping. You could write it along the leaves. You could write it around it. Let's finish up these poems. Decide how you want them written. There's paper over there. You might write it in the How do you spell shield? Use the compliments. The tri techniques. It was really 
really fun because it was there's so much to write about and like the whole imagination part of it. It was like cloudy outside. It um it's like fun to make the watercolor into like sunny and bright and something really happy. And then the poetry, it's fun to write like in different patterns across it because there's no like exact place that you have to write it. Mm -hmm. Nature, colorful, rich plant, smells nice like nature, happiness in air, soaring in air, leaf. Just the sight of the spinning pattern will send you tumbling into a wonderland. A wonderland where the stems grow like proud and tall warriors where the sky is a debate between tears and smiles, where the brown dirt shields the warm kingdom so that everything can be at peace. The dashing red tries to whisper your name only to shout across the garden. The butterflies dance above your head and you know you have arrived. Erin, it's just a weed. Oh, to you it's that just stuff. a weed. But to me, it's, it's an inspiration. It speaks not in words, but in thoughts. To you it's just a plant. It's just another plant, but to me, it's my imagination. My name's Cassie. Okay, go ahead. Um, smooth and gentle touch, blossoming beautifully, dainty little sprouts. Nice. And, um... Adam Goslin. Okay. A tree is nature, living, breathing every day. For decades to come, a spirit with spikes of life. Name? Um, I'm Ricardo. And here's my phone. Oh, I like the way you do that. Little. Small, lonely, needs to be loved. Friends will come, but now, just lonely. I love that. Your name? Cold stem, rolling green, springing with color. My blowing, amazing beginning, sprouting in spring, outstanding broadness, beautiful. Charles Malcolm. Parsnip, green, silky, water reflecting from the sun. Red forest on the inside, surrounded by ugly, standing out alone. Smooth velvet, pink, small, delicate. My petals glow, rain, wind, or shine. Pink, yellow, green, joy, happiness. Sunlight and water allow me to live. I sway in the wind. I take in nature's gift of water. I will forever live on. Really eat the colors of the rainbow and all the foods that you grow in your garden. Your body feels better when you're eating beautiful lettuces and vegetables full of vital life force and energy that's alive and living.